welcome back to another episode of Happiness Matters, the show with your host, Mo the Service Dog, who is happily chewing on his squeaky candy corn right now, and me, Beanie Man, and my wonderful, awesome friend, guest, and I freaking love you, um, Dolly, and I cannot pronounce her last name, but that's okay, we all know her as Dolly. Hello, Hello. Dolly. Hello. <laughs> you get that a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> I, yes, with the song, you gotta So, it. what's your last name? Currently, it's Chua. Okay, see? Yes. Dolly. Dolly works. Yes, it does. And yes, for those of you wondering, we did meet networking. Yes. At a fabulous networking event here in town. And we just, because your vibe attracts your tribe, and birds of a feather, and all of those things that I keep talking about on almost every show. And she's definitely my tribe. Yes. She is so my tribe because <laughs> we had that instant. I think somebody said we should meet because we have, we're on the same wavelength. Yep. It was at Power Connectors. Yes. And no. Yes, it was. Yes, yes. Yes, it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, so we connected and here we are. Here we are. So, Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. It's, just, it's just awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm honored. Really, really honored that you would ask me just because of how amazing you are and Aww, the impact you. that you make in the community. Aww, so thank you. Thank you. Hey, takes one to know one. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. So tell us a little bit about you. Sure. And whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm a mother of two. Um, because boys, boys are awesome. Yep, they're both boys. They're ages 6 and 11, mm. and um, I'm a single mom now, and it's a good thing. <laughs> I'm like, so I'm a single mom! Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I never thought that I would actually yeah, be brave well, enough to say it that way. Right. You know, um, and I've been a single mom now for since February of this year. Oh, okay. Uh, but, you know, it, I wasn't this happy two years ago, and especially with, you know, when people think of the word divorce, you know, especially with where I was at, I was a very codependent, mm. very victim a state of mind type of person. Mm. Um, and there's a lot. There's a lot out there. And it's not just females. It's both ways. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Because I actually spent years and years in a community of people that were in marriages, you know, that... They, they, were, just, they were marriages. They were marriages. Yes. <laughs> so... Um, but what I noticed was that a lot of people were stuck and they just didn't get out. Mm. And so years and years of just feeling like I'm, I'm, I'm never going to be able to get out of this. And I, I knew the divorce was coming. Right. right. But you know, a lot of people, and I've been there, you know, we, we stay there because, yeah, it's uncomfortable and we hate it, but it's familiar and we know it and we made it work. We know how to maneuver within to not add more pain. Right. Right. We get into a complete, yeah, complete right. comfort. Yeah. And Good for you, afraid. though, for, for realizing that... Peace out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, but that's kind of how my journey began, mm -hmm. you know, in, in how I got to be where I am today. Um, well, where are you today? Because oh, I love your story. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. It, no, because, because you embody everything that, that I talk about, you know, that, that, that I'm working on make people understand so they can have it too. Right. And that's why it's like, Aah! yeah, and it, and it really is. And I hope people can can really understand and feel that because exactly what you're doing, you know, that that's how I get. And it's all you want to do is share it. You're right. Like, if you could just feel what I'm feeling, mm -hmm. you would understand, you know, and it's the feeling, you know. And yes. Yeah. And we'll get, to, I suppose we'll get to the rest of. Well, yeah. keep, keep telling your story. Keep, keep going. Okay. You're, you're doing great. Okay. <laughs> Well, I think it's also really important for people to know that um, I wasn't into anything like this. Um, I was introduced to, you know, we could say the law of attraction, so to speak, in March of 2017. Mm -hmm. I was raised to believe that this was all hocus pocus. It was a bunch of people that just got around, you know, that just believed in this crap. Like, yeah, whatever. Whatever that, mm -hmm. yeah, and this is how I was raised. And it wasn't that... And you know, I, I, I still hear it. Some people, when I talk about it, it's like... Oh, that's the devil's work or witchcraft or whatever. I'm like, no, because your life is governed by the same laws my life is governed. And the uh, gravity, I always use gravity as an example. Right. It doesn't discriminate. It doesn't care what you believe. It doesn't care what you do. You fall from something, you hit the ground. Right. Right. And the other laws work exactly the same way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and so that was... And again, I think that's important for people to know that because right. that was really how where my mindset was at the time. And so 
when I, well, I guess I think I would just probably start from, I guess they call it an awakening. Um, so aware, it's, I call it awareness. awareness. Yeah, and that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. So I was in a really bad place two years ago. I had, like I said, I spent years studying, thinking I could change someone else. Mm. Years. We're talking eight years of just being in total conformity, bondage, and in mental health, in mental prison. Mental jail, yeah. yeah. And the thing is, is if you don't know that you're in a jail, you don't know how to get out because you don't even realize you're in one. Right. Right. Because you don't know what you don't know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You just know you're miserable. Yes. Yep. And you just, like again, you learn to function within mm -hmm. to keep the pain as little as possible. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And then you start to lose who you are. Yes. You know, and, and a lot of things get quite blurry. So all those years studying how I could possibly change others, um, a suggested YouTube video came up. Uh, Don't you love those? I love those. I love YouTube. I'm glad you guys are on YouTube right now, too. <laughs> yeah, I could have found you that way. Right. Right, and this is how and it And for those works. of you listening, go on YouTube and find Happiness Matters the Show. There you go. Yes, and if you found this show, it's not by accident. Nothing, nope. nothing is. Nope. You're meant to be exactly where you are to hear this exact story today. Um, so you just want people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you had started talking to me like that two years ago, it would have been like, like gone. The door would have closed, me and you wouldn't be talking. <laughs> right. Um, but, so, yeah, the suggested YouTube video came up. And, again, it's important people know. I didn't research things like this. So for this video to come up, you just can't make it up. And, <laughs> and at that point, you didn't believe either that things happen for a reason. No, I thought... It just it. came up, and you're like, what the heck? Yep. And what the fire truck? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it was a video of something that I didn't even relate to. And in that, the, the, you know, it was actually of two people like this having an interview, but it was from, I believe, the 1980s. Oh, wow. So the big glasses, <laughs> the funky hair, you know, You're right. real car salesman like it. I think they might have had an ashtray on the table for other guests. Um, you know, and so, but I don't know. And I thought, what is that? And I clicked it. So I've shared this particular quote with many others and, and, and you too, but I think it's really important others hear it because from my understanding other people have become more aware and awakened because of it. And the quote that shook me was, if I want to be free, I've got to be me, not the me that my spouse thinks I should be. Do you hear that? Yeah. Repeat that. This Absolutely. is really, this is important. Listen guys. If I want to be free, I've got to be me. Not the me that my spouse thinks I should be. Not the me that my kids think I should be. Not the me that you think I should be. If I want to be free, Schultz. I've got to be me. Mm. So yes. I better know who me is. Mm. And it was that, and I thought, whoa, what is this person talking about? You know, and then he went on to say, you're not your body, you're not your name. I'm like, what is this guy talking about? You know, but still I was completely engaged and wide open. I was open-minded. I was really fully ready to hear the rest of what, what was being said. You know, and then he said, you know, people believe that you die and become spirit, but really you are spirit, yeah. having a human experience. Mm -hmm. And people forget their infinite potential, that there is this power working to and through all of us. Right. Right. And you don't have to be this victim Right? That, that this was a state of mind that I had, and I was a victim my whole life. You know, I thought everything was always happening to me. The people I surrounded yep. myself with, you know, and what I hadn't mentioned is, you know, I, at this time, I mean, I was smoking cigarettes Can you go since I was 13. And oh, I was, wow. Yeah, and I was 36 at the time of my awareness awakening. And uh, I had given, I had pretty much said, I'm never going to stop smoking. It's like, don't even bother asking me to. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bad for you. I'm going to, I'm signing my life to this. Like, I can't quit. You know, I was drinking way too much alcohol. I had been to every psychiatrist. Oh, well, because it's a coping mechanism. Yes. It's totally a coping mechanism. Anyway, yeah. yes. No, it is. It is. And I had so many crutches and things that I was trying to distort my reality with. You know, because I just couldn't handle the one I was in. But outside looking in, we looked pretty good. You know, having two kids, house, two, you know, right. dogs, we seemed okay, but oh no, everything actually was really, really broken, mm -hmm. especially, I mean, for me inside. Right. Um, you know, so all those addictions, and then I had, I was on antidepressants, and the psychiatrist, I couldn't believe it, I'd go talk to him, and it would take him literally three minutes. He'd say, 
how are you feeling or, you know, whatever it was. And the next thing I knew, he's giving me, we'll do well butrin and we'll do, not saying there's anything wrong with Right. I mean, there's a time and place for everything, you know. Absolutely. And to get you started, because mm -hmm. I was on it, you know, to get you started or get you out of the deep, deep funk. Absolutely. You know, so you can start to function a little bit better and learn more and everything. There's nothing wrong with it. No, there's not at all. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. And the, and the reason why I wanted to stress that too is because what was happening was I was using it also very incorrectly. And I have found that a lot of people do, right? Where they're forgetting to take them for a couple, of, you know, a week, and they try to double up here, and they don't realize what's really happening. It's, you've really got right. So again, I'm not claiming to be a doctor, but what I will say is I was very mis, I was misusing it. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm trying to paint this picture for everyone to see. There's no try. You, you are painting the I picture. I am painting the picture. <laughs> She's good. This is good, though. You want to keep us speaking that way. Because um, our words are impeccable. Exactly. Yeah. So, but yes, um, I wanted to, pa I am painting the picture of where I was at at the time. Mm -hmm. And so with that video that, sh that came up, I went head first into finding out what is, who is this person that just made, that just said this quote. Um, and what is this all about? Now, what I didn't realize, because I had never been around the information, was that he was from the movie The Secret. Mm. And he was Bob Proctor. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. So there's lots of those. I know. I was like, ooh. Mm. Well, and, and the thing is, I learned, for me, whenever I get those full body chills, the universe is like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Because that's energy. Right. Right? That's going to I know. It's like, ooh. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I found out it was... And he's amazing. Oh my um, gosh, he's amazing. He really is. He, he is a product of the product. And I really always like to mention too that he, he, he doesn't claim to be anybody except a student. You know, he's been studying for almost We all years. are. We are students. All of us. You know, I mean, and some of us are both. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like even though we teach and we, we share what we learned, we're still learning. I learn new stuff every day. Yes. I love it. Yes. Me too. <laughs> I think I say often, the, the more and more I, I, I find out, the better the news becomes. Right? Yeah. It just keeps getting better. There's, and that was something else that I learned later, too, is that there, you know, just when you think this is all the love that you're going to be able to receive and to give. But wait, there's, there's more. more. Yeah. Always. <laughs> Always. Right. Yeah. So I found out he was from uh, The Secret. I still didn't watch it. Instead, I went another route, and um, I started to Gosh, dive you're in. stubborn. Yeah, <laughs> I just didn't think to go watch it. I, said, <laughs> I just went right into, you know, um, he has the Proctor Gallagher Institute. So, so it was a school. Mm -hmm. So I went in and you actually did one of the, the programs, the Paradigm yeah. Shift, which was the first one that I did. And it was like a peephole into what this was all going to be about. And he made it so simple. Yes. Right? And it, because it is simple. It is simple. It's not rocket science. I mean, it's quantum physics, yes, but it is, it is not complicated. It is not, and I love how he breaks it down. Yeah, and I have to say too, you know, we were talking about earlier being a product of the product, right? Continuing to invest our, in ourselves, and I was thinking about that, you know, even on the way here, thinking, I can't believe that we we've been programmed, right, to think that we can invest in everything, upgrade everything around us, the exterior parts Except of everything. Us. Except the most important I know, right? Us, right? Mm -hmm. And you're a product of that product. Mm -hmm. You're always willing to learn and grow and oh, see yeah. things from different angles. Because and... <gasps> it's a matter of perspective. Exactly. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think that's amazing that you do that. That Thank you're you. learning from all the different teachers and mentors and getting, like you said, you're, you're taking all this knowledge. You're, you're combining it into mm -hmm. your wisdom, through your experience. Well, and, and, and the thing is, is, like everything we learn, we have to make it work for us. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, I mean, and I, I take the example raising kids. Before we had kids, I mean, at some point we knew we wanted kids. Mm -hmm. I don't know the first thing because I didn't have a role model. I learned what not to do, but that doesn't mean that I knew what to do. Mm -hmm. You know, I just knew what not to do. <laughs> and, um, well, my husband didn't know what to do either. So we just watched. Friends, family with kids, you know, some of the stuff is like, oh, this is good. I'll put that in my pocket. I'm like, I don't know why you're doing this because, oh no, you know, I would not do it. But so you take pieces and, you know, bits and pieces and what you will find, a lot of it repeats. And if, if a lot of different people are sending essentially the same message, you really want to listen and you really want to start implementing it for you. Mm -hmm. 
Because if, if a lot of people are doing and saying the same thing. Right, and you're watching their results. And you're watching their results. Here's your sign. Yep. You know, and so, yeah, absolutely. It's like. Well, and if I may piggyback to what you just said, too, one of the. Well, I, there was a lot of valuable things that I learned every time I go to training. But I'll never forget something that um, one of, um, you know, he's another mentor and teacher learning underneath Bob, but he's been doing it quite longer. So he's got quite a big following. Um, mm -hmm. And he really also immerses himself in the material. And he said to me, we were talking about just something, and I don't know if I ever shared it with you. I might have. And he said, uh, you know, I was telling him about a certain advice that I got from someone. And, um, Not me. No, 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 no. And he goes, but he goes <laughs> well, who, who gave you that advice? And I, I told him, and he said, well, and just to get to the point of the story, he said, is that person, and this is not about money, but he said, is this a, was that person a seven income earner? And I said, no. And he goes, so why are you listening? Well, I, except, and, I mean, and, and that's why I tell people too, it's like, pay attention. Who's giving you advice? It's like, would you take financial advice from a homeless person? Think about that. Right. That's what I tell people. It's like, and it's the same with everything else. Right. Right. And it's important, you know, it's, and, and that even goes to the people that we surround ourselves right. with. Right. And, yeah, I mean, and Bob always says, you know, you want to look at the person's results, mm -hmm. you know, and that's going to speak volumes. And the results really does, it just goes back to becoming a product of the product. Right. You know, really immersing and embodying ourselves, you know, to, to this material. Well, put, put to use what you're learning. Because, yes. I mean, and, and we've all heard that, that saying, knowledge is power. No. Knowledge is potential power. Because... Knowledge only helps you if you put it to use. Right. If you take action on that information. Right. Yep. And that's so. that's the biggest thing. There's people that know so much. Right. But they're book smart, it's, but that's that's it. Right. You got to th th There's a time and place for that too. But it's like if you have all that knowledge and you have all that information, but you're not doing anything with it. It's like that's a to me that's a waste of time. Right. And that's why a lot of people don't believe that this material works, right? Um, and so, but I know that's, I'll kind of, sorry, we went off topic, so. Squirrel! Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> There's many of those. I know. Um, yeah. yeah, so, I mean, I went to one of, I did one of his courses, and I think, and the thing was, is, you know, Bob said, do exactly as I tell you to do until you find out I'm lying. And all the things he was having me do were really positive. They were really good. And they're easy to do. It's very easy to do, yeah. It's easy to do. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just did it, you know, because my way wasn't working. What I didn't tell you either is that day, or, uh, the day of my awakening, when I found that video, I was ready to take my life. I was done. I get that. I get that. I was there in 2004. I get it. I was really done. I, I knew, I just couldn't believe, I was like, I can't believe this is all that life is. And, mm -hmm. um, and I didn't think I'd ever be able to make it on my own independently and... Look at you go. Uh, it is, you know, and it's one of but those... But you got her dream car, too. I did. <laughs> and it's, pr it's purdy. It's so, purdy. So is yours. Thanks. <laughs> so share what's yours, because now they want to know, because you all know mine is the Lexus ES350. Oh, okay. Um, so I had, I put on my dream board in February that I wanted a Porsche Panamera Turbo in white, and I thought, oh, it might take a little bit longer to get. And That was February? That was February. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so... And it's what? It's November, but I purchased it in October. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But again, you know, the, the it thing works. it does, and it's not about. It really isn't about the money. You, you, you do come to find that because I will admit, when I first started to go further and further in, I, I was like, the money is the answer. Like you, you know, and that is going to be the answer. Because that's how saying. we're conditioned. Mm -hmm. That is how we're conditioned. Yeah. You know, the, it turns out the money is a nice side effect. Yes. Well, and it's if, and it's a tool. And the more right. you have, the more you're able to serve, and the more you're able to yep. give. And that is what you and I feel. That's that <gasps> feeling. Oh. Yeah. Right. You're, when we buy material things, it's just the instant gratification of that moment. And then it's, oh, I get to experience that. Right. And I've learned through all the teachers and mentors that I've been so fortunate to go see in the last two years, uh, they all say the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's once you get the money, and, and I know that, you know, already, and it's, if you realize it was never about that. It's it's never not it's about not that. about the money, and it's not mm -hmm. about the destination. No, nope. it's about the journey. It's about you. It's about what you learn, how you grow. Right. You know, and how you really find you. Yep. To be you. You know, and I mean, in our journey, you know, we have peeled back a lot of the layers, 
and thrown them away because it was other people's beliefs, it was other people's view of us, it was other people's, their, their own fears and everything laid on us. Right. You know, and it's not just the family, it's the friends, it's the media, it's all around us. And, and we take that in mm -hmm. as the gospel, as the truth. You know, because, I mean, if everybody's doing it, if everybody's believing, well, it must be true. Right. Question it. If it doesn't feel right for you, and I, I, I'm big on the feeling part, if it doesn't feel right for you, don't. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. I mean, there, there's things, you know, and some of the, and I have, like you, I mean, different teachers, you know, and mentors and everything, and it's like, I believe with most of what they're saying, but every once in a while there's a thing and I'm like, not me. But that's my truth. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that is my truth. And that's really powerful, you know, for me to, if I can again piggyback on go, that. Go and for that, it. Whatever you believe is true. Mm -hmm. Whatever you believe. Yeah, it's your story. It's yours. Yeah. So it's if you believe story. it's too hard, if you believe it's too difficult, if you believe this, it is then. Mm -hmm. Well, Henry Ford said it. Yeah. Whether you believe you can or cannot, you're right. And that's true. It is, it is true. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like um, my, one of my sons, you know, it's like, hey, won't you give that a shot? Oh, I can't do that. I can't. And there's, there's so many, it's not just my son. And, and sure. there's so many people who's like, we have this notion, we can't do this. And, and I always ask, I was like, how do you know? Have you, have you, have you tried it before? Mm -hmm. Have you given it an honest shot? Well, no. Well, then how do you know you can't? I said, give it an honest shot. And that, guys, give it an honest shot, whatever it is. Give it your best. If it's working, great. Keep going. If not, well, then you were right. But give it an honest shot without the pre-notion of, no, it, it won't work. Mm -hmm. You know, because, I mean, what you think about, you bring about. I say that all the time, too. Right. You know, so keep, be open about it and be honest about it and, and really put your best effort into it. And with my son, every time I was like, oh my gosh, that was so easy. This is amazing. Right. Well, and we always so. say, too, don't attach yourself to the outcome. You know, um, right. like you said, a goal is not something that you're going, it's not something that you're going to get. And you said it's about the journey, and it is. It's really about who you become, mm -hmm. you know, walking into your higher self. And if you're, if this is the very thing, like, you know, if they say, I can't do this, or I won't do this, or whatever it is, most of the time it's coming from completely from a place of fear. Absolutely. You know, and if it's the, if you have that feeling, the pull to say, I'm going to, this is what I need to do to get to where I'm, you know, that I need to get to, walk through it. Right. And then don't attach yourself to the outcome because mm -hmm. God has placed everything on the other side of fear. Right. And totally. And the thing is too, so when you're afraid, ask one question, what am I afraid of? What am I afraid of? And then listen to your answer, because you know the answer, because essentially we really do know everything. And as my, my other son put it, it's like, I do know everything. I just forgot. I, no, that's not how he said it. He says, because you know when, when they're teenagers, like 13 or something, he got to the point, it's like everything was, I know, I know, oh, yes. I know. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and very calmly, he looked at me and he says, mother. Fact is, I do know everything. Problem is, I do not remember it all at once. Mm. I mean, truth. Yeah. Truth. And I didn't know then what I know now. Mm -hmm. And yes, we do know everything. We have all the information. It's just dormant and it's buried. Right. You know, and I totally forgot where we're going with that. Well, what, I, what I'd like to add to that, <laughs> and this will bring us back, and it's, it, you know... It, Faith and fear. Oh, fear, demand, right. right. So faith and fear both demand that you believe in something you cannot see. Mm -hmm. So choose faith, but not blindly. Because right. as soon as you go with faith, and you're like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to go, I'm going to quit my job, and I'm going to go do, and go after my and dream. That, don't be stupid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, so what I mean, so... The, so Common the, sense, <laughs> use it. <laughs> so as you're driving forward, you know, towards your dream, what you're going after... Mm -hmm. People use that faith piece. However, as soon as things go wrong, right, a couple of things go wrong, they go, nope, and they go right back into conformity, right yes. back into fear. Because that's what's familiar. Right. 
And so I think it's important for your audience to know, too, is that don't just go based on blind faith. No. Right? You want to have strong faith, and the only way to do that is through knowledge. Mm -hmm. And the only way to have knowledge is through study. Right. Right. And so... And you ask questions. Mm -hmm. ask, and I, I remember what I was going, where I was going with it, with yeah. the fear. When you're afraid, ask, why am I afraid? Mm -hmm. And then whatever answer comes through, ask why. Keep asking why until you hit the core. And what happens is you will realize there's nothing to be afraid of. Right. Because unless, unless your life is in danger, you know, physically or, or, or har you're in harm's way, like physically, yeah. there's nothing to be afraid of. Right. There's nothing to write. So if you fall, make it part of your dance. Get back up and pretend like nothing happened. You know, it's like, oh, I totally meant to do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, it's your perspective. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. But I mean, really, the magic is on the other side of fear. It's outside that comfort zone, you know, and it's just, it is amazing. It is so amazing. Yeah, it really is. Um, and it's so true that the treasure that you seek is on the other side of you mm -hmm. know, in the cave that you fear to enter. So that I did a lot of those things. Um, as, we all do. But like in, well, in the process of my awakening is when I, and you know, it's interesting too. like, um, I, I reference Bob a lot because I do, um, you know, I'm in business with him and I also work closely with him, but I do have other mentors too. So mm -hmm. I, I want to make that very clear, but he does say too that, um, Oh my gosh, I lost it. It just boom, gone. Uh, forget it. Anyways, um, talking fear, and you were stuck in there too. Yes. So uh, well, yeah. That, I'm the, throwing you a bone. That's oh all I thank got. You. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. Well, anyways. <laughs> no, but um, I mean the thing is, it's really um, you are the most important person in your life. You are the most important person. It's like whatever you put in your cup, you know, is what comes out right. when you get bumped. I mean. Put something in a glass, in a cup, it doesn't matter what it is, and bump that. What spills out? Whatever is in that cup. Right. You know, but, he, but here's the thing too, if you take a cup, and this is a fun experiment, but you know, I'm not cleaning up your mess, so do your thing. But if you put, say you put like red wine in a glass, and then you pour red, white wine on top, mm -hmm. what happens? It's going to dilute, it's going to get lighter. The red wine goes away eventually because the white wine takes over. And it's the same thing with our mind, with all the negativity that's in there. If you start feeding positivity and you start doing, like, you know, look at the bright side, it will take over. Right. It will take over and it will scoop out all that, that gunk. It, it'll be gone eventually. Exactly. And that's actually the way I was answering your question was that I think also, too, that people, they, you know, it's right before the gestational people gestational period that people quit you know and like but it gets it, the hardest that's when you have to push because then you this close right yeah yeah yes and you are a lot of people are only five feet away from gold yeah i, I mean that, there's a that. yeah there's a story of a um a person i think it was here in colorado actually he bought a gold mine yep that's the story great, that's the story you know and that there was an artery of gold and he bought the equipment and everything and the family they chipped in with the money and everything, and then the, the artery ran dry. Right. And it was like, he was devastated, so he sold everything. Yeah. Well, the guy that bought the mine and bought everything, he hired somebody to do a little survey, to do some research, do so, you know, and literally five feet from where that old mine ended, the biggest one ever was found. Right. Yeah, and actually that story is in Thinking Grow Rich. Right. Um, and the guy that ended up selling it, he has a brilliant story too. So mm -hmm. I highly recommend oh, everybody yeah. to get that book. Oh yeah, I love the book. Yeah. Get the book. Yes. Get the book because truly, what you think about, you bring about. You know, everything, and that was a hard pill to swallow for me for a while. Everything that we experience in our life, mm -hmm. we attract. Right. We call to us on a conscious and unconscious le level. And of course, being me, I'm like, really? I attract that the multiple sclerosis, the lipedema, and this, and, and this, and this, and, you know, the abuse, and what the heck is wrong with me? <laughs> you know, and then you realize, you stop for a minute, and then you're like, oh, yeah, I did that. Right. But that's really empowering. I did and that. I, yeah. <laughs> what was I thinking? Because I didn't know. Right. We, I didn't know. You know, things that we say... 
and then we just like you know we we say it in anger we say it in in with love or whatever you know we just throw it out there and then we let it go and then eventually it's going to happen that's that's the law of attraction that's the law of vibration that's what is what we're talking about you just have to let it go but we do it unconsciously right you know and sadly a lot of times we do it with the things we don't want and that's why we get the things that we don't want and the universe says oh that's what you want here you go get more of it because that's what you focused on and yeah no now that now that you know too because we just shared that with you <laughs> <laughs> you know i mean being resp taking that responsibility and yeah i mean stuff happens to us and it happens out of our control yet we attracted it you know but we control is how we react to that Mm -hmm. that we have all the power over it's like you know and I used to be like you make me so mad well now I know no I make me mad right you might trigger it but I'm the one that's reacting right I'm the one that chooses to act that way right and that was like man now I really have to pay attention yeah. <laughs> and be responsible yeah <laughs> No, but I mean, it's, and I'm so excited for you that, you. that, that, that clicked for you. Yeah, it and, did. And that you're now sharing that and, and there's so much more, so much more good or stuff coming. Oh God. <laughs> How long is your show? <laughs> we, the show is however long we want it to be. Oh. So, I mean, if you have anything else you want to share or? Well, yeah, I think that it's important for people to know where I ended up, right? From where I was. Right. It, it went beyond just that one. Um, it's beyond the Porsche. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's Actually, just a, it's a nice bonus. Like, my car was a nice bonus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I think it's important where, where people see that, where I ended up inside. Mm -hmm. And that was the part I couldn't explain before. And I often say, and again, this is a lot of repeated story for Beanie, just because we've talked, you know, before. Because it's, it's a great story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I think in movies, and um, you know, I've, as, as a lot of people too, that if you're a visual learner, um, I'll never forget in that, you know, when my father, for example, he was driving, I guess the other part of the story that I want to share with others is that I made a decision. Mm -hmm. So after I did the paradigm shift, I made a decision that I was going to meet this guy. I was going to, I didn't know yet, but I was like, I, I know that I just want to be, I didn't know yet, but I just wanted to be around him. Um, and he said, you know, write down what it is that you want. Just write it down. You know, don't worry about the how. Just write down what yeah. you want. So never I wrote worry down, about the how. Never worry. No, never worry about the how. I wrote down, I want to be an international best-selling author, and I want to do what Bob is doing. Not even knowing that it was a possibility, right? Just, he said to write it down, whatever. Now, I want to, I'd like to share, too, how much I was avoiding my purpose, though. How much money I lost. And I don't want to say lost, because actually they're learning lessons, and they all ended up making full circle. But at the time, I thought it was just expensive losing. lessons. Very, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> and that's relative money. And, and some are more stubborn than others. Yeah. Yeah, but don't, <laughs> but don't run away from your purpose because no. you're afraid of it. Some have discovered it already, some haven't, but you will. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you just have to have that intention. You have to believe that you will, and then you will. Um, but I ran away from it for a while. And that, again, that's, I mean, that, the story will go too long if I go down that road. But so I made the decision. Well, we can keep going, but you have an appointment, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's right she's good <laughs> I'm good though I'm good um, I'll, I'll move through this fast so um, anyways I, I made that decision I was going to do that so I looked it up I, there was an opportunity that I could spend six days with this man um, and you know go to his house or whatever and I said I'm going to do it now that's what I need people to hear is that I made a decision mm -hmm. and I made a committed one meaning I was going to do whatever it took no to matter get, what. No matter what. Mm -hmm. I was laser focused, right? I had a burning desire, and that was all I was focused on. And remember, my awakening was in March. I was a stay at home mom. I didn't have any money. Um, I, was, it was, uh, I hadn't worked in two years. My children were little at that time. So, um, well, they still are little. They are still, yes, yes. They're littler. Littler, yep. <laughs> um, and so I didn't have the money. I didn't have the means. I didn't know how I was going to uh, corp incorporate babysitting because. That, you know, that didn't always quite work out before in my past. Right. And then to say I was going to leave for six days to a foreign country in Canada to spend time with this man named Bob Proctor that no one in my family knew about was a miracle in and itself, right? We call it a miracle, but 
yeah, but so we'll just leave it at that. We'll the magic for now, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. And the magical pieces just falling into place exactly the way it needed to. Because that's what the universe does. That's exactly what it does. But if you're not focused on the who's, the what's, the, hand, the how's, the when's, and all of those things, those details, if you just believe it'll happen the way you want it, or better, it'll happen. And it always, without fail, happens better than what you can envision. Right. And, and the thing, too, is that's another key word, is the belief. Mm -hmm. You know, it can't be a wish or hope. It no. has to be a real belief. With action. You have to, I mean, you can sit there and you can put out, it's like, oh, I really want this. And then you sit and you wait. No, you have to take inspired action. You have to take action. Whatever comes through, whatever comes your way, you know, for you to take action on, to move you into the direction that you want to go, do it. You, that, that's a key. Yeah. That's key. You have, you still have to take action beyond the putting out the wish and, you know, hoping for the best. You have to take action. Absolutely. So that's what I did. And so by August of that same year, so what is that, six months? Like yeah, okay, roughly. Five, we'll, yeah, we'll go with that. About five or six months. Um, I had, and uh, what I didn't mention either is how expensive the trip was. Now, again, it's not about money. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people have what we call a money paradigm. Yes. Most people I meet do, actually. Yeah. They have a lot of knowledge, but no money. Right. Right. And so, um, I, I want to mention this because it's important that people hear that we have a money paradigm, so we're not spending money on ourselves, but yet we're asking for things, right? And so the law of attraction misses a lot of um, what Bob talks about, too, is it was missing the secret, right? The movie The Secret was kind of missing the secret, and that's you've got to match the vibration. Right? The vibration actually is the number one law to get what you want. Law of attraction is the secondary law. It's the secondary law to the vibration, yes. And so... Um, and that goes to that, what you put out, you're going to get back. So I had invested an ungodly amount of money, and, I, and no one knew I did it. Right? And how it, it happened doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right? Because everybody's ways are going to be different. Some people find checks in the mail. Some people find a way. Trust that you will get what you need. Yep, just trust. And then some. Yep, just trust that it will come in. Because here's the thing. Everything, everything we want mm -hmm. already exists. Yep. That's, and you have to just trust that. It, I mean, it are, I mean, if you look it's, around, there's, I mean, there is literally trillions of dollars floating around. Mm -hmm. You know, there's people who have wad loads of money. Yeah. There's people that have all those expensive houses and cars and everything you can imagine. Well, that proves right there. Everything already exists. Yes, it does. And when I say just trust, I'd like to emphasize too that ignorance now is a choice. Because yes. the information is everywhere. Yes. Right? If you want to know, oh my gosh, you should yes. find out. Mm -hmm. So what the other thing too, right here is um, I went to go see Dr. Joe Dispenza. He is... <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, well, he had said... I mean, there were so many mind-blowing things, but one of the things I'd like to mention here is he said, look, this is... The, the world is waking up. Mm -hmm. Right? We're on the cutting edge, and I'm working with the Brain and Heart Association. We're waking up. So it, everything can be proven. Mm -hmm. Right, and so um, that right there should strengthen your faith. Uh, right, you know, to to want to be and to I don't want to say be, but you know, yeah, to become happier and to and the only right. way to do that for me, it, well, it's not even for me. I'm sorry, I get really passionate. And but I get no, but it is work. it is also for you. It is, it is. You know, because here's the thing. Again, whatever is in your cup mm -hmm. spills out. Yeah. So first and foremost, yes, it is about you mm -hmm. and for you. Because if there's nothing in the cup, you cannot give. Absolutely. You, you cannot pour from an empty cup. Yeah. I remember when Oprah used to say that I didn't get it. I was like, that woman is weird. No. <laughs> no. That was a long time ago. I, was like, I didn't even watch her. That's how far removed I was from right. that. Yeah, I would rather, back then I was watching Jerry Springer. Mm. Isn't that interesting? So, but garbage in, garbage out, guys. I'm glad you're watching quality stuff and listening to quality stuff. Yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're watching yeah. and listening to this. Yeah. To my show. You yeah. know, that's a start. Yeah. That's a start. And, and it's really part of why I do the show is, is like, I, I hope you get the message and I hope you implement it. But if nothing else, I know I'm planting seeds. Yeah. We're planting seeds and that's all we can do. Yes. That's all we can do. We're, 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 we're planters. We, we just plant seeds. You know, what, what do you guys do with that information and how you nourish it or not? 
That's up to you. That's your choice. Because we're humans, we have the power of choice. Right. So, I just really hope you choose you. Choose you. That doesn't mean you're going to be like egotistical and, and step on everybody. And that's not what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're talking about choose you. Come from a place of love. Come from a place of gratitude. Oh, I talk about that a lot too. <laughs> because it, it's key. Mm -hmm. It's key and it's like, fill yourself with all those good things. Because now you can go out and give it. And all the things you want, again, they already exist and they will come to you. Because the more you give, the more you get. The more you plant, you, you know, you, you, what's it go? You reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. So the more you sow, the more you reap. Right. It's that simple. It's really that simple. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> just keep giving, giving. Yeah, and, and it's just fun. So anyway. Yes. Dolly, I'm, I think maybe you and I should do start a show together too, but that's, we'll talk about that. Not right now. If you guys knew how much she's got her hands in and how, I don't know how you do it. Um, you've got so many things going on. Because it's fun. Yeah. And it's really, and it's not even about me. Mm -hmm. It's about giving value and, and, and educating and spreading that hope and it's like, yes, there is a better way. Yes, you know, you can have everything you want. It doesn't matter how deep in a hole you are. I was ready to end my life. She was ready to end her life. I mean, yet here we are. <clears throat> better than ever. I mean, beyond the wildest imagination, mm -hmm. you know, and you can do too. You can have anything you want. You can be anything you want. And, but it's, it's getting past that programming that's been instilled, you know, and really that, that power of awareness. Neville Goddard, get the book, The Power of Awareness, awesome. And then the next one you get is Napoleon Hill, um, Think and Grow Rich. Those two books, man. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they, will change, they will change your life. And, of course, you know this show here, too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, guys, um, if you have not gone to the website yet, it's Gift from Beanie, B-E-E-N-I-E. Look at that. Take it right down here. .com, giftfrombeanie.com. Go and get your uh, quick guide to happiness, my gift to you. Um, Dolly, thank you so much for being here, for sharing your story, and just thank being you. your awesome you. I'm so <laughs> glad you're my tribe. <laughs> thank you, guys. You know, I, you're amazing. I love you, and you just, you rock. So, as always, be happy, be kind, be love. Until next time. Bye.